For many Jamaicans and other Caribbean people, migrating away from our countries of birth is like a rite of passage. Like getting married or getting a degree. <laughs> getting a degree. <laughs> Hoping for greater opportunities, more money, education, and finding a gullible white woman to marry off to get them green card. For many, the Jamaican dream is to live the American dream. You see, when I migrated away from Jamaica and I came to the United States, I felt as if I needed to escape. I felt as if there was nothing left for me to do. So I just packed up and I left to start a new chapter. You see, for many Jamaicans, we believe that the United States is a bed of roses, the land of milk and honey, the land of opportunity, and it's complete and total prosperity. But I quickly learned that there was many pros and cons to living in the United States. I mean, one, money is always on my side. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the Jamaican economy is not the best thing, you see me? And I mean, in America, you don't know, sir. So you see, one of the biggest things why Jamaicans come to the United States is for money. You see me? You know, the Jamaican economy is not the best thing in the world. But when you see when they come to America and they get that nice job, no matter how intensive it may be, when they get that paycheck. Money me a look away your day. Money me a look away your day. And they can start buying nice things. Get you a car. Get you some girl. I mean, you're not to say that you're buying the girl there. And I mean, the money come easy. Hey, so me reach a foreign. Oh, uh, me a milk and honey, you know. That place is a bed of roses. Are you mean, man? Okay, as me reach, me get fresh care. As we reach, we get thousands of dollars. Are you mean, man? Foreign is the best place to be. Yo, yo, brother. I had to come carry you. Yo, he's in a dog. He's, he's in a dog. He's in a dog. He's, he's, oh, how this? Yo. I just pose up on your kid. Hold on, man. I just pose up on the thing for that phone video, dog. I just want to stunt on the people on Instagram, now. Please, please, just give me some time. Just give me some time, brother. Yo, what up, man? Yo, what is you? Brother. Some of that not even real, brother. Some of that not even real. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Just give me some time, brother. Yo, Doc. Yo, what size are we here to you? What? Yo, what size are we here? Uh, size 9 more here Size 9. I can't fit that tip. You know, yo, come out this now, you. I'm here, you. Come up. I'm on one thing, dog. I'm here, I'm here, you. You couldn't give me some more time, dog? Brother! Alright, the money don't come that easy. You really have to work hard and then the, the bills and cost of labor, cost of living is more expensive in the States, food is more expensive. Jano, is it really $18 for a plate of oxtail? Jeez. But still, 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 regardless of that, America is still great, still a better roses. I mean, I just have to work a little bit harder for making more money, right? At least I'm making more money than the average guy in Jamaica, right? Right, of course. Everything's still good, Ever still, everything's still good. I, 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 pretty, pretty. Have you guys ever seen some of the stores here in America? They're huge. Floor Mart is like Mega Mart on crack. <gasps> They have customer service. We don't have that in Jamaica. Wait. So you're telling me I can buy condoms in America without dealing with people over the counter? Oh my God. I love this place. This is the greatest store I've ever been. Fam. They have Jamaican food in here, dog. They, dog. They even have grace tin mackerel. So, what do you call when two bullies get into a fight? Bully beef.
Bom bok. Demi really said me tin beef, corn beef for five dollar. Come on, what this store? This store. Is it really five fifty for a tin of corn beef, dog? But still, everything is still good. Life in America is great. Don't make nobody tell you nothing. Life in America is the thing to do. It's the best thing. Don't make nobody tell you nothing. I am glad I came to America. And one of the best things about America, they yell them easy. I don't even have to try. I just need to tell them, yo, where I'm going? And them wet up instantly. Yo, babes, where I'm going? Tell them easy, but they expect men to do certain things that we may not want to do. But still, life in America is great, okay? Life in America is great. Don't make nobody tell you nothing. I mean, we we'll have good road. Have you seen the roads in America? Okay, I'm brother. Like even them bad road is wonderful road. Like what is a pothole? In Jamaica, we have roads in our potholes. Yeah, here we are in Kingston, Jamaica, boy. This seem like the capital, capital of the world when it comes to pothole. You see, at least we have good roads in America, right? Right? That should be good enough reason to stay in America, right? Then again, when I'm trying to get somewhere, I have to depend on a crosswalk. And it kind of annoying even when the streets them empty, them call that jaywalking. Nah, we really have to wait for this thing to say walk. Yes, the man man is walk. Oh, yeah. Yo, forget your money. Hold on, no, 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 my turn, my turn. See you there? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh gosh, what? See, we're walking within the crosswalk. Like, lawful members of, like, lawful citizens of this. Listen, listen, life in America is the best thing. Yo, actually, let's talk about the food. The food here is great. The chicken here, it tastes like it didn't live a life. It tastes like it never run around a farm. It tastes like rubber. And the people that here don't season them food. The chicken itself just tastes genetically modified to taste like trash. All right, all right, but still, life in America is great. Let's talk about the culture. <sighs> what culture? The, the, the people here are divided by skin color. They don't find unity, you know, like how we have all the many one people. And people them ignorant, yo. Like, you think that Jamaican ignorance is bad. Let me tell you something. You see, Jamaican ignorance is a state of not knowing, but a lot of our Jamaican people may not have the resources to learn. In America, people have the internet and Wi-Fi at their fingertips, but refuse to learn and stick to offensive stereotypes. They think that they stick to ignorance. How many times is someone going to ask me, do I have weed? Somebody actually looked at me and said to me, man, I didn't know there were light-skinned Jamaicans. Is, is life here really that great? I mean, at least I have my friends, right? I mean, everybody is busy working. This whole state is so spread out, I can't even walk to get anywhere. Do I have that many friends here? And to be honest, I am pretty lonely, to be perfectly honest. A lot of these videos I shoot by myself, you know. There's like no one around me. More time. I mean, yeah, America has its pros and cons, but... Is it worth even staying here? Maybe, maybe I should just go.
Maybe I should just go. Maybe I should just go. Maybe I should just go. Well, I'll go in Jamaica. Medea. <laughs>